Hey everybody. First of all, I just want to thank everyone for their good wishes and their extra prayers and healing vibes and everything you sent for Miss Ruby because clearly they helped. Um, she's home now from the hospital and um, she did very, very well. The veterinarian did say that, first of all, she had two more fully formed eggs that would have probably dropped any time tonight or tomorrow had they gone naturally, but she had some very abnormal tissue in there. Um, there, there were normal type follicles hanging out around the uterus. And then there were some very abnormal discolored ones that looked like they wanted to really cause problems in terms of Marina. infection and also, um, they were very friable. So, I mean, she couldn't even put the forceps on them and to hold them, they just fell apart in her hands. So she definitely dodged a bullet. So getting her spade was the right thing to do because that could have ended up in an emergency surgery that she may or may not have survived. So it was good that we were able to take her when she was otherwise well and feeling good and being her normal self, a little tired because all that egg laying was getting to her, but she is um, doing really well. She's going to be, yeah, a little out of it maybe for 24 hours. Um, and then she should hopefully be back to herself more or less. Um, I did bring home some critical care food so I can syringe feed her if she's not eating by Monday. Um, we will do that. Otherwise, she can have whatever she'd like. So hopefully she'll feel okay and um, she'll be interested in eating and, you know, she'll just keep going. Um, I'll show you her incision. I was kind of surprised because it was much longer than I expected. But, um, you know, I think she was being extra careful because she did find the abnormal tissue. And she didn't want her, you know, didn't want to miss anything. So, yeah, but she's on good pain medicine right now. And I am I brought home syringes of pain medicine to start with her tomorrow. But, see, you can kind of see. Yeah, it's fairly good sized incision. So, she has uh, two layers of internal sutures. Because she was going to use um, surgical clips. But because of the condition of the tissue, she couldn't. So she went ahead and used a couple different layers of sutures internally, which will dissolve on their own. The ones on the outside have to be removed. So we will be taking her back in four to six weeks and she'll remove the external um, sutures and hopefully all will go well. She just has to stay quiet and calm now for the next 14 days or so. Um, I have removed the dig box out of her enclosure. I cleaned it, I sterilized it, disinfected it, the whole thing, so that there would be no, no debris in there to get into her incision. So, um, and I did give her a different climbing apparatus. The little uh, dinosaur skeleton decor that used to be in Smolder's tank is now in Ruby's, uh, in the corner where the dig box used to be. So hopefully she won't miss it you know, too much. I expect her to be irritated about it because, you know, she was enjoying getting in there and kicking all the dirt out. Well, it's gone now. But um, she did very, very well. Aside from it took her three doses to get her under. Usually it takes one, but she kept fighting it. So it took three different doses. So, but she finally did get her under. And... Um, she did the surgery, removed all the eggs, the follicles, the uterus, the good tissue, the bad tissue. Um, and she did cut into the bad tissue just to kind of give it a look over. I think she also probably sent it to pathology just to make sure there wasn't anything, you know, hinky in there we had to worry about. But those are the kinds of things you can't see and you can't know until you're in there. So it turned out that um, it was very important that we did this spay for Ruby and that we did it when she was basically well and not when she was 
you know, egg bound or infected or critically ill or some other condition that would have made it much more risky for her to have surgery in general. So, yeah, she did have a breathing tube, so her, her throat's a little, little weird. So I'm going to try to get her to drink a little bit of water, and then I'm going to put her back in her tank and let her just kind of, you know, reacclimate. And we'll just see how she does in the coming days. But thank you again, everyone, for all of your thoughts and prayers for her. Clearly, they worked. Um, you know, she's, she's doing really good right now. Um, it was a lot. She's still black bearded up. She's not pleased. Okay. The diva is not happy, but she's going to feel so much better and she will never have to go through this again. So we can survive the black beard for a little while. That won't hurt us. Look, Ruby Q. Say hi. Say thank you for all your good wishes. <laughs> So, yeah, so she's now home, and uh, I'm going to put her in her tank and get her warm, put her little blanket in there, and hopefully she'll sleep the rest of today and probably, you know, a little bit extra tomorrow. I am going to make sure she's due for her pain medicine between 9 and 10, so in the morning, so she will get that, and then we'll just see how she does. Hopefully over the long weekend she'll decide she's hungry. I did stock her favorites. So we have hornworms and superworms and mealworms and you name it, we have it. So hopefully she will be, you know, a little happier camper in the days ahead. Fortunately, it's only once a day she has to have the pain medicine. I'm hoping she isn't too difficult about it. I'll know tomorrow, but I'm hoping she's going to be okay with it. Yeah, but see, she's doing really good. I'm sort of taking the opportunity to just hold her because, you know, she's not usually this docile, right? I mean, she's always a good girl, but right now she's just like, yeah, love me, cradle me, give me hugs. So I'm taking full advantage of it. So thanks again, everybody. We really appreciate all your good wishes. They worked. Yay. And, uh, and in the nick of time. So it was the right call. And she's doing really, really well so far. So we'll keep you posted on the rest. Have a good Memorial Day weekend, everyone. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.